Honestly, what good is makeup if it can't even cover a simple bruise? Your cheek is still red. Why isn't this doing anything? Huh? Oh. Oh, of course. If I keep blending it so aggressively, of course your cheek is going to turn red. Right. I wasn't thinking of that. Thank you for pointing that out, my lady. I do hope that I wasn't hurting you when I was trying to blend this in. Was I? Are you certain? You can be honest with me, you know. If I hurt you, I'd like to be informed of it. You know that I didn't mean to do this, right? I... I didn't want to do this to you. I really didn't. But you were just... You were aggravating me so much. But I didn't want to leave. Because I didn't want to be away from you. It's my fault that you got hurt. You didn't deserve what I did to you. I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me, my lady? Huh? No, no. Don't look away from me. You have to answer me. I promise. I won't get mad if you can't forgive me. What I did to you. It's truly unforgivable. Do you understand me? If you somehow find it in your heart to forgive me after that, clearly you are more of an angel than I previously thought. But if you can't forgive me, I won't be mad. I won't even be surprised. I don't deserve to be forgiven for that. I'm only a brat, foul and vulgar. Just like you said. Just like everyone has said. I'm... I'm filthy. I'm disgusting. I don't deserve to be around a goddess such as yourself. My apologies for... tainting you with my mere presence, my lady. You deserve better than this. We both know it. Huh? No. No. Don't say that. Just because you think it's what I want to hear. It's not all right. Treating you like this. It's not okay. It's not all right. There is nothing in the world. In heaven or hell, that could justify what I've done to you. Just because we made an agreement. Just because we both accepted the terms that I suggested. And that doesn't mean that I have the right to lay a hand on you in such a manner. Nothing, nothing can justify that. Except, perhaps, self-defense, but you weren't attacking me physically. I wasn't in any danger. You were just... You were calling me filthy, disgusting. I... I remembered someone else who used to say those things about me. Forgive me, but... I saw his eyes, where yours were meant to be. I... I always wanted to hit him. I always wanted to hurt him for what he'd done to me. But I didn't want to hit you. I should have stepped out of the room the first time you said it. And I certainly... Should have kept myself from telling you to say it again. I goaded you into that. I made you say it again. 
You were merely following my orders because you didn't want to end up with a worse punishment. But I still gave you one. And I can't apologize enough for that, my lady. Truly, I don't think I'll ever be able to. All I can say is, I'm sorry. And I understand. If you can never forgive me, by all means, say that you don't. Say that you'll forever resent me for laying a hand on you. Go on. I know that's what you want to say. You don't have to hide it. I promise. I won't get upset. It's what a brat like me deserves. Isn't it? That's what you were thinking, from the moment you and I met. Isn't it? That I'm a brat, who doesn't deserve anything, except pain and mistreatment. Go on. Go on. You can say it. I know you want to. Go on. It's okay. I can take it, my lady. I promise. <laughs> Why not? Why aren't you saying it? No. Oh, are you? Are you afraid that I'll raise my hand again? Are you afraid that I'll strike you again? My lady, oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I, I was just trying to hold your face, so you wouldn't look away. I wasn't going to hit you. I told you. I would never do that to you again. I really don't want to, my lady. But, but I understand. What I did to you came out of nowhere. So of course now you're always expecting it, even when there's no need to. I understand that. Believe me, I understand better than you may know. Forgive me for startling you. I. I think I should go. I'll leave your food with you. Just. Promise me you won't hurt yourself. All right. When I come back. You can hurt me if you wish. I deserve it, for hurting you like this. Believing a lasting scar that will force you to flinch any time I bring my hands near your face. So go on. Eat while I'm away. Attempt to kill me when I come back. Just know that, despite your efforts, though I deserve whatever pain you wish to bring to me. Eventually, Claude or Hannah will step in, even if I tell them not to. Hannah, because she is foolish. Claude, because he is contractually obligated to protect me, even if I order him to stand back. I only tell you this because I don't want you to think that. I'm getting away with it. I'm not. Believe me, I'm not. Every night, when I close my eyes, I see that expression of pain and betrayal etched across your face. And when I open my eyes. 
when I call out for Claude, I find that I'm crying. And... And for a moment, I think that it's you crying. Because I hit you. And it hurt you so badly that all you can do is cry. Forgive me if I get a bit emotional. I... I never wanted to hurt you, my lady. And I never should have. I should have done everything in my power to prevent myself from hurting you. You deserve better. When I come back, I think that I'm going to let you out. I think you should be free to go. I'll order Claude and the rest of the servants to leave you be. I'll tell them that you're free to leave the manor. And if Claude is still hungry for your soul, I'll order him to stay as far away from you as he can. I'll order him to leave you be for the rest of your days and to never touch your soul or even think about what it may taste like. Would that please you, my lady? I thought it might. All right, then. Enjoy your meal. I'll be back in a little while. And you'll be free to go. I... I really do love you. I hope you know that. I know that you can't bring yourself to love me. Nobody can. That's why they all leave. They all leave or they die. They die because... They don't think I'm worth fighting for. They don't think that I'm worth staying around for. Most times, people aren't motivated by themselves, but by those whom they love. No one's ever loved me enough to stay. That's why I attempted to capture you. That's why I locked you away. Because I didn't want you to leave like everyone else did. That's why I'm letting you go. Before you can escape. You're very smart, my lady. We both know that you can escape if you really want to. I just... I want it to feel like I'm choosing to let you go. Even though we both know that isn't true. So... For what's almost the last time, my lady. Farewell. I love you.